Well, we did come back to the model table last night. And, uh, yeah, I got that little railing glued on. I'll show you what I did. It takes about seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to bypass that, just fast forward seven minutes ahead. But then you'll miss all the good stuff, right? <laughs> We are experiencing a beautiful spring evening here. And uh, I just want to take a close look here and see if possibly we are putting the railing in the wrong place. Now, I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I got it in the right place. I think what is throwing everybody, including myself, is the, is the fact that the treads on the stairs are turned the wrong way around, as I mentioned in uh, the last episode. Uh, anyway, I'll move in nice and close here, and we'll just follow the arrows down. Okay, I don't think we need to put on the macro lens here. We should be able to clearly see these arrows. And, and it's been my experience with the trumpeter manual, that if you follow the arrow from where it is connected onto the part, and then go right down onto the place where it's supposed to drop, you you can pretty well pretty well figure out where it's supposed to go here like a lot of these other arrows that you see they've got they've got nothing to do with the railing there's only two two arrows here that have to do with the railing it's this one right here and this one right here and we can see that the edge of the railing is supposed to um Although now I'm looking and I'm noticing it's got a bit of a jog here. Does that? Oh, I see that. No, that that that's not really a jog. Right there, and right there, it's sort of open a little bit because it's supposed to indicate that that's where you would go down. I, I'm pretty sure we've got it the right way, the railing that is. Except that, it it could have been folded the other way, but that still would have. You know, even if we had folded it the other way, so it's a mirror image of itself, it's still going to be much the same. Our, our big mistake, well, my big mistake, was when I had the treads bent the wrong way. Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got it right. Now, let, let's see if we can get that, <clears throat> excuse me, that, that little railing on this evening uh, that we broke off. I'm going to come at it just a little bit diff differently uh, from what I was trying yesterday. Now, a, a bit of a correction here, it, <laughs> it's still yesterday. I meant earlier this afternoon. Okay, now, where's my glue applicator? Come on, oh, here it is. All right, now, normally I would uh, put some CA medium in my little cup here, except that the uh, thin that I've been using, and uh, let's get our railing here. Okay, the, the thin that I've been using, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, sort of thickened up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some thin right along the edge of this post. I didn't mean to have it go all the way down the... Uh, under the deck, but probably not going to hurt anything. Okay, now hopefully that's going to stay wet. Now, if I can come very, very gently at just the right angle here and just just touch it on there, maybe adjust it just a little there. 
Now let's try not to bend our treads like we were doing before. It's not wanting to stay there. There. Now that is not quite right. I'm going to take it off. Okay, I'm going to try something else. How would it be if I was to dip that one rail? No, that's not a good idea. Okay, I can't show you what I'm doing here. Yeah, I'm gonna come at it from the from the side instead of Oh almost had it there if I could if I could just let go of it when I get it in the right place. Oh so close. Maybe the CA medium would be better. Okay, now don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Um, we can sort of bend things around later after after I reinforce this, but I don't want to go anywhere near it right now. We'll just we'll just uh, uh, let let that cure, and uh, we'll give it about uh, 20 minutes, and I'll come back, or or maybe it'll be tomorrow morning. I'm not sure yet. Now, in yesterday's episode, part 824, at the beginning I made a rather serious mistake, and nobody seemed to catch it. At least I didn't get any comments. If anybody noticed, they were just too polite to say anything. Just watch and see uh, if you pick up on it. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's coming, just wait. Eight thirty four. It should have said twenty four. Well, I have made a mistake here on this thing. Now, the reason why I'm using the thin here instead of the medium is because my thinking is that the the thin will work its way through the paint down to the photo etch a lot better than the medium, whereas the medium or thick is going to just sort of sit on top of the paint. So I'm, I'm thinking that the thin might be just a little bit stronger. And uh, I just want to reinforce that uh, connection that I made last night. Yep, the last few episodes have been fraught with mistakes. Let's try and do better. All right. Okay, so we're going to want to try and glue this one right here. Just reinforce it. Now I know you don't have the macro lens on, but...
Yeah, that's working better. Alright, I don't think it's going to get much better than that. We'll give that about 20 minutes or so. And then, <clears throat> no. Well, we'll talk about it when I get this turned around. And we'll talk about those, those steps that are the wrong way around. In the description in these videos for about the last two years, it has said something to the effect of that this these videos are becoming uh, more of a diary. It actually says that. And um, yeah, and you, my, my personal life is uh, kind of an open book, and you know a lot about me. But there's, there's one thing that you don't know, and that is that uh, for the last uh, couple of years or so, I've had a, you might call, a serious problem with water retention. Uh, my ankles and feet are quite badly swollen. And uh, when I went on my diet at the end of January, beginning of February, it was because I had become extremely alarmed as to how badly my feet had swollen. Now, once again, you're getting more information than you need. But, you know, this is, this is a personal diary. Uh, I talk a lot about myself lately. I realize that uh, some of the viewers don't, the, you know, the model makers, they're not going to like this. And little by little, they're going to maybe drop off. Because they want to watch a model being made. They don't want to hear about an old man's aches and pains. <laughs> anyway... Today, I got myself a device that will help me to put on uh, compression stockings. I can't put them on by myself. Okay, I think I've cleared myself off a nice spot here. Now, uh, there's something I should clarify here. Well, actually, there's a couple of things. First of all, I, I had thought that this was going to be bigger than it is. Uh, anyway, we'll take a look at it. I know what it's supposed to look like, uh, but I had mentioned that it was only about two years that I've had this problem, but thinking back now, I can remember over three years ago, sitting in my mother's apartment, and I didn't have my shoes on, but she could tell by looking at my socked feet that my foot looked swollen, and she mentioned it. So it, it goes back to over three years, maybe, maybe four, but uh, like I had started to indicate, uh, it was, it got really bad just after New Year, to the point that, like I, I mentioned, I was, I was uh, quite alarmed, and I didn't know what I was going to do because this this COVID thing. I didn't want to go to the doctor. I didn't want to go anywhere near a hospital or a clinic or anything like that. I mean, you want to get sick, you go to a clinic, right? I know that doesn't make sense, does it? Okay, I guess I can't do everything sitting down. Yeah, I had been hoping it would be a little bit taller, but uh, well, maybe it's going to be all right. All right, let's. Uh, I'm not going to give you a personal demonstration. I mean, there's only so personal I'm going to get here. Uh, but uh, let's go find a, a compression stocking and uh, slip it on. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like what I've got now, only it's a lot bigger. And, uh, and it's... Uh, I got sort of a plastic thing. It's like a gigantic shoehorn. Uh, and it, and it, doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. My feet are, are too far gone, you might say. So I'm hoping this is gonna... Well, let's go get a sock and put it on, see if it works. Well, 
I will know if it works, but I won't show you. Anyway, okay, we're back here. Now, the last time I actually put one of these uh, socks on would be, uh, oh, I'm guessing four years ago. I used to wear them when I was uh, riding on Greyhound. I would find after sitting on the bus for a long period of time, they would uh, they would have a tendency to, uh, let's see now, what would be the way to do this? Uh, my feet would have a tendency to swell up after sitting for a while. So, as somebody suggested, compression stockings. I started wearing them. Okay, now the heel has got to be here. So, uh, I guess you take it like this. I do have a pair of special gloves that I wear. Maybe I could go and get them and they might work really good here for this. Okay, now where's the heel? Maybe the way to do it would be to put them upside, inside out and then go. Okay, I do believe this is the heel right here. So that, that's right. Now, I think the idea is you would put your foot in and then go like this. Okay, well, if it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this has got to be the only model show that is ever showing compression stockings being put on. And then I put them on the wrong part of me. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can't do something here right now. Okay, I'm wondering, do any of you other model makers have this problem? You unbox whatever, try it out, get it going, and then look at the instructions. Uh, now mind you, I did know how this thing was supposed to go. Okay, I can see now that there's going to be no way that I can get these treads hooked onto this piece that we just glued on. Um, unless I was to, to break it loose back here and move the whole railing back a little bit. Now, I'm going to just see if I can't lift up this one tread. Oh no, that's what I was afraid of happening. I knew that that tread was going to let go. Oh, well, there is another thing we can do here. And that is that one of the viewers made the suggestion, why don't you just break the treads off, being as that they're wrong anyway. Just, just break them off. And uh, at least the railings are going to be there. I don't think he said that, but that, that's what he meant. So I, I think that maybe that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to twist those off and be done with it. Uh, well, we had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Okay, for any of you who are making this model and you haven't gotten to this step yet, you will definitely know what not to make or what not to do. Now, oh, I, I had thought that that was going to go up and down nice and easy and I'd just be able to... I'm going to end up breaking something else. Um, hold it with my finger maybe. Pry against myself. There we go. Now down, now up, now down. Okay, one more to go. Go up and down. Okay, we got that one off. And these two I think are already broken, aren't they? Well, that one's almost broken. Can't quite see it there.
Oh, there we go. All right. Maybe if I could just straighten this just a little bit. So pry it over. Pry this one out. I've got my windows open, you can tell. And, uh, it was uh, 31 degrees Celsius the last time I checked. It was beautiful outside. I went outside and sat in the backyard where, where my neighbor was yesterday. He was out there again and with his little dog. and. Consequently, we didn't get too much model making done today, what with all the other stuff going on. Okay, so I have taken that uh, viewer's advice, and uh, I'll get these out of here. And uh, yeah, it's too bad. It would have looked a lot better if there had been treads, but you know, that's the way it goes. You know what, folks? It is 10 minutes after 3 in the afternoon. I do want to have this uploaded by 5 p.m. when a big time. So I'm going to call it quits here. And thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.